All right, y'all, we back. Truth news and reviews, giving you that content. Yes, sir. Um, we got to talk about Webby. Don't don't adjust your screens, guys. That that is Webby that you're seeing <laughs> up there, and with the he, halter top, crop top, halter top. I don't know what's going on. I know for sure his belly is out. I haven't yet heard mm. the explanation. Um, don't catch maybe he's going to tell us he was belly. hacked or <laughs> maybe he's going to tell us he's pregnant. I don't know what this picture was. Hold too. on now. Hold on now. Yeah. Well, no, no low blows, man. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. That was disrespectful. You feel <laughs> me? It's still Webby at the end of the day. But this ain't the first time we've seen Webby do some kind of wild out stuff. So, you know, I don't think it means anything. You know me. I don't think that clothes are really really that important i don't read too much into this kind of stuff but it is interesting the type of audience he has we know how they're going to react to this we saw how we seen how the last video to... with cameron yeah you know let's let's and... give some context people don't always watch all our videos i'm referring to the picture with jonathan majors and michael b jordan a lot of people right. had some negative feedback for that they felt like maybe it was too much affection for black males to be yeah. doing and nowadays if you wear your shirt a certain way that now <laughs> yeah that's what they're saying like <laughs> okay like uh jonathan majors had a magazine cover people didn't think was masculine enough i saw that asap rocky got some backlash for the i think it was vogue cover that he did with rihanna you know what i'm saying People wasn't feeling that. They felt like it was emasculating for a black man. So with with an audience that's, that's that sensitive to that kind of thing, I think he should have known that this was not the right move. This wasn't it. Mm. You know, right here. I think it's oh, silly. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, he got a lot of attention to him. We got to – I kind of like to look at things in a marketing standpoint sometimes because <laughs> – like what I feel like what, you know, we're trying to bring up content to get mm. eyes looking. So right. I need y'all in y'all. I, I need to be in your mind. I need to be reminded. Right. Unfortunately, right. this may be, this may what it has to come down to, to get the whole world talking about right. you. Maybe a movie can drop. Maybe it could sell. It's like, you right. know, sometimes it's all about the marketing guys and we get so caught up in all of that, but. You know, right, right, right. <laughs> Honestly, this got eyes on him. We're talking about Webby. Now, when's the last time Webby had like a hit? Now, granted, Webby is a, a legendary artist, you know. In the but, South. Yes, you know. in the South. I mean, come on, man. My other bitch on my other bitch on some other shit. <laughs> he snapped, <laughs> ain't it? Come on, dog. We got to. He's still Webby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it's been a while since he's been like hot like that. So I can't wait to see what Boosie has to say about this. <laughs> don't think he'll comment. You don't think he'll make a comment about him? No. Boosie always kept it solid with Webby, man. He ain't never well, uh in the next in the next Vlad interview, we're gonna hear something about this. They're gonna bring it up. Vlad gonna be like, so what did you think when you first saw Webby in the <sighs> switch the screen? That's my yeah. prediction. There's been so, some um reactions in the internet about wait, hold on. let's get to let's get to what Webby actually said uh about you know this whole situation. We forgot to play that. We did. I was really gonna go into the reaction from the internet and then go to that, but if you wanna Okay, you know, because you had a reaction from your boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reaction for the boy. Um, yeah, yeah. We can get into yeah. Let's get into the reaction for the yeah, boy. We got yeah. Webby's reaction. I was trying to tease that a little bit. You feel me? Reaction. Gotcha. Webby's gonna explain himself, but we got to cover what people are initially. Or people are still reacting. A lot of people haven't heard the explanation yet. What was the? Uh, it's Charleston White, right? Yeah, Charleston White. You wanna? Uh, you want me to pull that up? Let me pull. This I thought one you had it. Yeah, I got it. Oh. Let me uh pull it up here with your boy Charleston White. He ain't your twin no more, man. You used to be he my evil twin. twin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, this is what Charleston White said, y'all, and we're gonna get into Webby. And this video is from CEO TV. 
this okay. one right here. Okay, just Respect. to give them they shout out. Respect. Shout out to him. Thought he had his shirt up like this, yo. I was hoping, but what nigga do his shirt like that? <laughs> Tupac, anyway. Tupac took the whole shirt out. What nigga rolled it up like that and show it better? Like, <laughs> man, that's now nah, man. James, Rick James didn't do. Rick James was a fly freaking nigga. Uh, uh, even even Dr. Dre now, nigga, when he was with that. Uh, turn off the lights on, man. The feel of fresh crew. No, man, when oh man, Is that was shrooms. No, I thought I was gonna take shrooms. I don't want none. I was gonna take some shrooms. I don't want none. Now, them if them shrooms got you niggas weed, them four ounces didn't do that. That motherfucker <laughs> old English eight hundred. You ain't seen now, nigga. Back in the day, walk around with no motherfucking old English. If he was, he was, in the, he was coming out the penitentiary and had that knot in the front. No, man, listen, is that what these shrooms doing to these niggas? Now these niggas done got these mushrooms. I've been saying, man, what? Okay. We got a little bit of what Charleston had to say. What you got to say about that? How you feel about what Charleston said about all of that? I think it's a typical reaction, man. You know, we dealing with that kind of culture <laughs> right now. You know what I'm saying? They're going to take that away. If you even have your pants on a little bit too tight, it's going to be an issue in the culture. So we got to already know that's coming. You know what I'm saying? We can't be um, surprised by that. But I don't think it's nothing new. I think we've been seeing a lot of stuff in the culture. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to uh, weird dressing. I mean, this this is nothing worse than what Prince used to do back in the day. Um, I've seen some wild pictures of um, other Outcast. people that are – that I think are tough, but they just they just kind of take some wild pictures. I think this is just it's funny to make jokes and stuff like that. But we've seen this. It, I don't think his image is irretrievably broken. I'm gonna share some pictures with you, Bob. You share my you can share my screen real quick. Uh, I think you already got one that you I you got it. What you are okay? Okay. No, nah, I'm gonna give some Let's examples. I'm gonna try to shoot Webby some bell because that's my dog. You feel me? I think Webby just marketing, man. I think it was a good marketing play for him, man. That's what he had to do. But you know, I don't think if it wasn't, he still still was great publicity for him. Okay, that's Terrence Gangster Williams with his legs crossed. Another Louisiana guy, right? I don't see nothing too bad as far as that. You know, you got gentlemen that do cross their legs when they wear in suits and things. Listen, like I don't think any of this is really a big problem, but these you are people that have gotten that. clowned right. for not being, uh, I guess, masculine enough. He got two machine guns, and this is one that they clown. Mm, right? A machine gun don't make you masculine. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't think clothes have anything to really do with it. I mean, Young Thug was in a dress. I should have saved that one, but it's been. It's been other pictures out there is all I'm trying to say that people have thought about and clown I people think, for, you know? I think that it brings you a level of uh, notoriety. So I think a lot of rappers you do this for publicity and marketing. You know, I think it's a marketing tool. It's kind of like how Charleston White kind of, how he's like, uh, and just coming out, you know, on something that's just crazy. I think it's like that kind of effect. Like I don't know. Well, let's let's hear group. let's hear from Webby's own words. I'll react to this in real time. Let's see what Webby has to say for himself. Okay. Oh, you'll be acting this in real time. My shout out to all the people in the world, the East Coast, the West Coast, the North, South. Look here. I just want to know why y'all don't repost and double post. I tell a kid to stay in school and you can be whatever you want to be. And if you know, yeah, all right. the, the, the positive things about life, you know what I'm talking about? Because that's what I, I represent, savage life, because I done been through it all. You heard okay. me shout out to all my dogs, all my all my homegirls. You know what that. I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> like, quit playing. Quit playing on that internet, man. Folks, that be crazy, man. For real. Savage life. Belly. Dumb way. Be ready for the movie, man. Be big and the dumb way for real. Back to the bubbles. <laughs> so uh <laughs> and it see, ends with yeah. the belly out again. So he's standing on business. He, yeah, he don't I think feel no. <laughs> his movie coming out, it was a good play for him. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's still standing on what he's standing on, man. It was yeah, no, Jay. Man, we we 
all of this stuff that people go crazy about, I don't go crazy about. When I see people put the nail polish, there's there's guys that's putting nail polish on their nails now. They're wearing the tighter. Now you going to? I'm, I'm, I'm li- I know okay. everybody got a lot. I'm saying I'm desensitized to all of that. I see all of that is you do what you want to do. I don't lose sleep over it. It doesn't mean anything about your sexuality. I think people is just taking chances out there. But I am aware of the type of backlash you're going to get. Sometimes you got to read the room. You got to kind of know your audience. And maybe we trying to be in a more progressive place in hip hop, but we're not, we're not all the way there yet. It's going to be yeah, a lot you of heard what, got jokes. Yeah. You heard what Webby said, man, y'all don't post the, the positive stuff that he doing out, you know? Mm-hmm. So, you know, for him to get his movie out, if he would have did some positive things, nobody would have viewed, but I mean, I'm kind of so, glad you did this though, Webb, because it brought it brought it brought eyes to, the to your to your movie yeah. and your message. What he just mm-hmm. said was 100. We need to yeah. hear messages like that. So real talk. I think it was all a good thing. And sometimes that's what you got to do to get the eyes to you, though. Ain't nobody finna be looking at nothing that's not astounding. So damn. So would, would you do that? Like, would you do that to further shrewd news and reviews? Like, if we needed you to take a pic with your belly out. You feel me just to kind of generate some some momentum you know what i'm saying would you be open to that no see so i'm trying to say everybody got alive <laughs> right. he, so so for some reason i don't he thought know this people was a that'll do it but it's like i don't even know if I this was intentional. In other ways yeah i feel I, that I think he thought ways. it was like <laughs> he wanted yeah. to show off the i i agree with charleston white i would have went with taking the whole shirt off you know what i'm saying to, right. to lift half of the shirt it's just not a it, it's, it's, not it's a like man two men on thing. film yeah. reminiscent of that a little bit you know how sometimes <laughs> a, a, a woman might just take the shirt and tie it over the top and make a little bikini top out of a shirt oh, like that's yeah. all, that's all the kind of stuff that comes to mind when i see that so i don't think it was the right choice but it don't make him any less of a, a man or anything no nah, he's still standing on business and helping the youth so i can't yeah. i can't knock that all yeah and i'm so, glad he got the eyes on him so let me know what y'all think in the comment section man am i am i too Oh, would you take your shirt off for uh, <laughs> uh shoot news some views? Yeah, you actually yeah, it's just good marketing, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 what's too far yeah, to go you, for marketing? Because these, put you these on shits, the front, man. this will go more viral than your movie. So, how far <laughs> would you go for marketing? Would you paint your nails? Would you would you would you, would you lift your shirt up and put your belly out? All right, you know, is, we, yeah, we yeah. Know. We going too far, man. <laughs> All right. Y'all let us know what y'all think in the comment section, man. We're gonna catch y'all in the next one. Stay yeah. blessed.